thing we need to do is we need to install Redux. So npm install Redux. I've already installed Redux, so I don't need to install it. But you guys can. Um, I already have the project set up, so I'm using Webpack as well as Babel. So the job of which is going to go ahead and bundle my index.js file into main.js and I'm using webpack dev server for local development. I will leave the uh, git repository link in the description box so you can check it from there. So inside of my index.js file the first thing I need to do is create a reducer. So what is the job of a reducer? So for example whenever an event occurs and it dispatches an action uh, the job of a reducer is to check the type of the action, what, what is the type of the action, basis which it can go ahead and create a new state and return that state. So it needs to return a state, okay? And then it needs to pass that state to your store, okay? And then store goes ahead and updates the view, okay? So let's start. So I'm say const and I'll say reducer. You can name it what you like, but I'm putting in as reducer. Okay, and uh, then it's a function basically. Okay, so it takes the first parameter as the state. And for now, I'm going to put the state as empty, like an empty object. The second parameter is takes is action because it needs to check the type of the action that has occurred. Okay, and don't worry if it doesn't make sense to you for now, but it will eventually, so don't worry about it. And it just returns state. So for now, I'm just returning state, okay? The next thing I need to do is basically create a store, okay? So to create a store, uh, Redux provides us with a function uh, called create store. So we need to import that from Redux, okay? So if I go to the, if I search Redux create store, you can see that this is the function. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna say const store is equal to create store. And the first parameter is the reducer. Okay, so I'll pass reducer. The next parameter, in fact, the, uh, is the preloaded state, initial state. So I'll just pass that empty object. These, are, these two are optional. The, the most important thing it needs is the reducer. The other two are optional. And this is enhancer, which means it takes middleware, which I'll be explaining to you uh, after some time. Uh, I want to keep this simple for now. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm not passing the third parameter because we are not going to use middleware right now. Okay, let's keep it simple. Now, the third, th third thing we need to do is create action. Okay, so to create an action, uh, what we need to do is we need to say store, which is basically this store that we have created. And then we need to use a method called dispatch, okay? And inside of this, it takes a parameter which will be uh, action, okay? So actions are basically objects, okay? So I can say type, uh, I can say username. So actions take Actions, in fact, have two properties. First is type, which is mandatory. And then second is the data, okay? Now, you can name this data property anything that you want, like my data or anything else. Uh, and you can say Imran over here. However, the best uh, way to do it is payload. You know, you should name it as payload because that's what it is, it's, it's data, okay? So you are dispatching an action over here, okay? And, uh, if you come over here, let's also let's also run the server. Okay, so I'm just gonna say npm run dev so that we can see what's happening. Okay, so webpack is bundling my index.js. I need to go to port 8080 to be able to see my changes. Okay. Now I also need to listen to any change in the store. So for that, I need to subscribe to the store. So I have a method available called subscribe. You can see this. And it accepts a parameter as function. So I'm using arrow function. Okay. And inside of this function, I can just do console one. Okay. And uh, 
my store has changed and then it takes the value the second parameter as store sorry I just want to display store dot get state okay so now what would happen is because an event is dispatched because an action is dispatched over here okay uh, that's why you can see that store has changed message will be called so if you check over here you can see that has been called right okay great now the next thing we can do is we can check the action over here so we can say so since we have action available over here we can check a condition if action dot payload okay or I, I can see action dot type not payload okay if action dot type which is this equal to username then state I can just do return and then I can say state just return action dot payload okay so this should return Imran over here because I'm asking that return uh, action dot payload if the type is username okay so let's try that you can see my store has changed and the value of the state is now Imran right great if I can also dispatch another one over here and I can say user age and payload I can put 28 and I can check another function if user age if action dot type is user age which means the type is this then go ahead and return action payload or whatever it is okay so let's see in fact we can change we can modify this also so we can add something over here so we can say state and we can just put the value of state you can put the value of state anything you want generally they are object but I'll just put like uh, say it over here let's say okay and uh, over here I'll say action dot payload plus state so it'll take the initial state and just add that okay plus state Okay, and there should be some space. Let's try that. Okay, the reason it was uh, not displaying Sayed over here is because we have set the preloaded state to empty. Okay, so I can get rid of this, is because we know that uh, this is not mandatory. Preloaded pre state is mo not mandatory; it's optional. So now, if I keep that and I put state as Sayed, so ideally, what it should happen is that when the type is username when this action is dispatched okay then this condition will be met and it's going to return the new state value to be uh, action dot payload plus state which is this so you can see that you have Imran Syed over here let's put some space okay and uh, when it's user underscore age the type is this when the second action is dispatched then the value becomes um, 28 which is this value and then you have the name which is Imran and then the previous state okay so that's how you check different conditions alright so let's look at the flow okay so when the action was triggered so currently we are not using any view we are just you know triggering the action using uh, store dot dispatch okay so when the action is triggered the action currently we are not using the action creator is we are just passing this action okay so when we pass the action uh, when the action is dispatched it goes to the reducer reducer checks the condition what type it is okay in case if this was the type it goes ahead and uh, creates a new state based on the action type so we have created a new state based on the action type and eventually we are just returning that state okay so it returns that state and it updates the store with that state so we have a store that we have created over here and it is updating this store with the new state okay so new state for example uh, okay let's just take one example for now 
okay so the new state was Imran Sayed okay and that is what is being passed to our store so when we are trying to access the stores state we are getting Imran Sayed because that's what the new state is okay so if you look at the flow that's how it's actually happening all right and since we have a subscribe a method that's listening to any changes in the store we are able to get this details okay brilliant now let's look at actions and action creators so currently we had been dealing dealing with the actions okay so actions are nothing but uh, kind of events and they are like plain objects you can see that this is an object so this is the action basically this object right here okay so and uh, it looks like the this so I already explained that to you now instead of writing ourselves we can also wrap them inside a function okay and that returns this action object and these functions are called action creators so currently we have the action as objects uh, we also have an option that instead of writing like this I can just create a function and the job of which will be to uh, we can name it as uh, get user name you can name it what you want but I'm just putting this this okay and the job of this will be to return this action so actions are nothing but these objects so I'm going to take this object and I'm going to pass it here all right so you've passed that there and now inside of the store dot dispatch I can just pass this function so it's the same thing but now instead of you know putting just the object here I'm using this function okay and this function is the one that is called action creators so what is it doing it's creating an action it's creating an action object okay so all right now action creators so action creators are functions that return action objects you can see that this is my uh, action creator the job it, it does what it says it creates an action which it, and the job of it is to return uh, the action which is the, this object basically okay uh, it makes the job easier when you need to dispatch the same action at multiple places so why do we need these action creators when you have a similar object that you need uh, at multiple places then that's the time if you just create a function you can just call this method rather than writing the whole thing over and over again so it'll be really helpful in that case that if you need to dispatch the same action at multiple places action creators are going to be really handy because you can see that all I had to do is just to uh, just you know call this method instead of inside of the store dispatch and I can call it multiple times rather than you know writing this information so gives us reusability and it's more simpler also to look at this way yeah great now one action can trigger multiple side effects depending on how many reducers uh, consume that action by checking action type and returning a new state this means that currently I just have one reducer I can have multiple reducers as well okay uh, I can create one more reducer and then I can combine those reducer and, and pass it over here rather than just having one reducer so if I had to show to you uh, but I think we can discuss the combined redu reducer in the next video that's completely really fine okay uh, so you can see that in the video example this action created dispatching a synchronous action okay uh, if you want to dispatch asynchronous action then you need to use redux thunk so we will discuss that in some time but I think uh, let's end it here and in the next video we're going to discuss how to combine your reducers alright see you then